Hello YouTubers, this is SDGR7F88 speaking with a quick look at my new project. Now, technically this project isn't for myself, it's actually for my sixth form college. Uh, I'm in my second year at my sixth form college and basically uh, I do ICT and photography and each subject so far uh, I managed to sneak a bit of uh, railways or mo model railways into it. Uh, except for my tech uh, projects, but this year um, I um, had the perfect design brief, which was to design um, something which is uh, either you know, for slopes, uh, water, water powered or wind powered or solar powered sort of thing. And um, basically, I was thinking maybe a gravity powered railway toy sort of thing, in using double O gauge track. Uh, but then I had a talk with my uh, granddad, and he said about um, how about making a water powered cliff railway. And I thought that was a brilliant idea, so I set about designing it. And here are a few designs uh, over here. As you can see, it is. Um, if I'm sure some of you may have heard of the Linton Linmouth Cliff Railway. It is based on. Well, my design is based on the Linton Linmouth Cliff Railway. You can see, it's two uh, like uh, carriages. One at the top, one at the bottom. Basically, the heavier one goes down, which is full of water, and pulls the empty one up. The empty one gets filled while the bottom, while the, the full one gets uh, emptied at the bottom, and then it basically travels up and down. Basically, um, no no um, electricity needed on the rail one. It's totally um, self-sufficient. It runs off the river, sort of thing, which is um, really clever. So it's very economical, um, um, environmentally friendly um, transport. Uh, but my models have to cheat because uh, obviously I don't, I can't run it off of a river, so I got to install a pump. Now, um, yeah, basically, it's, I'm not sure what pump it's going to be. It could be a hand pump or a fish tank pump. But basically, it, um, you see inside of it, basically, as you can see, it pumps water from the reservoir up to the bottom, the uh, taps at the top into the wagon and goes down to the bottom and empties out the little nozzle on the end of the wagons, basically. Um, there's like the the uh, basically the drum at the top. Um, there's only a brake on there, but that basically just the weight of the carriages should move it. And there are well basically being product design, there have to be a few more other designs. And if I go back a few pages, yeah, my first design was actually a lift idea. There's a few other sketches I did of it, and like the uh, how the water goes in and out. There's another lift idea. Some more designs about it. Um, a lift combined with a cliff railway, a uh, different cliff railway, uh, but really I knew all along that I really wanted to do something like based on a little Limbuff sort of thing, you know, to make it look realistic and I'm going to use some modelling materials on it. And uh, here are some designs for the carriages. There's the first one, uh, second one, slightly more modern looking, another one there, something a bit different. And this one here. Now the passenger, co as you can see, there's the like the real images I've stuck in next to it. I've got to do writing about these in, uh, these sketches at the moment. But these basically these um, pictures, as you can see, the uh, main compartment is actually for passengers. But this being just like a display model, it's going to be actually just actually literally the water tank. So it actually works. Um, as for the pro where the what the product is going to be used for, it's actually going to be for like a science museum. Um, well, obviously I get to take the product home when I finish with it, but in your design brief you basically have to design it for a certain uh, customer or target audience. In this case it's for a science museum, so somewhere like the London Science Museum, or um, uh, at, if you come from around Bristol, at Bristol. And uh, so basically uh, it has to be a hands-on sort of product, uh, you know, like um, an, basically it's an exhibit, a hands-on exhibit. So little kids be playing it with it, you know, you know basically it's just to explain, it's like um basically to explain how the whole thing works. So it was originally going to be double O, but that is too small. So I went on Keynow um, uh, models, as you can see here, well, just about, yeah, a parcel, and I ordered some bits and bobs. The parcel has already been opened as um, one of the sets of wheels, as you can see here, which is O gauge. Uh, are down at my college and they've actually started to build the prototype. Uh, there'll be a quick video of the prototype uh, just you know, just practicing with the gradients um, at the end of this video. As you can see, here they are. Um, yeah, it, I was thinking maybe make it G-scale, which is even bigger, but um, it was much, much more expensive than O-gauge. Uh, the lengths of track were a bit, well, they would have been a bit more um, you know, easier, you know, they wouldn't have worn as much of the water probably, but um, a bit more, yeah, they're a bit more outdoor friendly, but um, 
yeah, they're much, much more expensive. So I decided to go for O-Gauge. As you can see, here's one set of wheels and bearings. Uh, the, like I said, the other was down in my college uh, in tech room being built for the prototype. And also, okay, a bit more. A section of track. Here you can see O-Gauge, which is, um, well, basically, I think it's roughly double the size of um, double O-Gauge. O -gauge. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, because as you know, I probably as you know, I've never ever modelled O gauge in my life except until now. Um, but yeah, um, Pete Waterman uses his scale, um, and I must admit, Dapple are going to make some really nice um, locos and rolling stock for ready to run. Because normally most of the O gauge stuff is all kit built, but um, Dapple are making a Terrier tank and an O six no uh, sorry not O six O eight shunter, uh, six wheel tanker. Um, and basically loads of little nice rolling stock to go over it. So yeah, be, you know, if you ever want to do a, a, like a, um, an O gauge there in the future, Dapo are making it possible now. Um, but anyway, and I basically ordered three sections of these. This is one, and here are the other two. I've balanced them up against my uh, coffee table to um, show you sort of thing the um, the average sort of what well, what it will roughly look like uh, when it's. Um, the gradient of it basically this is the gradient that I'm roughly doing it well going to be doing it at and as you see the two tracks the uh, pump and the um, basically the cable drum will be at the top the reservoir will be at the bottom now this will be um, longer uh, because this piece here is basically that's roughly a meter they are about well they're actually 914 millimeters long apparently precisely um, and basically I'm going to extend it to about roughly a metre and a half, so I'm going to cut this one in half and you know, extend it onto the bottom there. But yeah, so uh, hopefully after this video there'll be a few, well, at the end of this video there'll be a few clips of me testing out the prototype. And uh, yeah, uh, also i like to um, say that coming after this video, hopefully, is all my Model Railway videos that I've been promising over the past few months but I haven't been getting around to uploading. As you know, I've, 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 well, it, w it would have been a couple of weeks ago now. I would have been able to start uploading them, but then I had that the um, I had that really a big surprise, as you know, driving an engine. So I want to you know upload those videos as soon as possible, and along with the West Somerset Railway Gala, because um you know it's best to upload them closer to the date, sort of thing. Um, I might be going to the um, uh, Avon Valley Railway Gala uh, this weekend. Not sure at the moment. Um, totally depends. Uh, so if there are any videos. Um, then it might be a few model railway videos like maybe a review and then there'll be a bit about the Valley Railway if I go that is if not it'll just be non-stop model railways and it'll be model railways after that because I've got no other videos to upload apart from that now like I mentioned earlier this was from Keynow models if I pronounce that correctly and so I got a little pamphlet with it and this is for 379 Electrostar uh, there was advertisement in there for the Batman Thumper and admittedly that livery that you suggested is very very tempting and at £129 at the moment I'm thinking I'm on, I'm on the edge I've got some birthday money I've also been uh, working pretty hard at my job so I thought well at my part time job so I thought well I might, might, might treat myself but I'm not sure I'm on the boundaries because there's loads of Sunset Dorset stuff I like to get so uh, yeah Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Q&A video. And, well, basically this has been SDGR7F88 speaking. And uh, thanks for watching.